Right, so guys, a lot of articles have come out about Cineworld this week, the top of which is that Cineworld's lenders are looking for a new management team. Also, we have an RNS about announced that uh, the Cineworld sh stakeholders are meeting in London, and so I wanted to get into what my thoughts are on the articles that are about the new management team and also the, uh, the, the latest RNS. So let's start with the RNS. The RNS is basically saying that because the net assets of Cineworld have been are, are less than half the share capital, then Cineworld are contract uh, legally as a public company are legally obligated to have this meeting. And if they don't have this meeting, then any shareholder that is sort of responsible for the meeting not happening is guilty of a Category Three event. And once I started learning about Category events I realized I was just diving down a massive rabbit hole that had nothing to do with Cineworld but basically this meeting has very little to do with whether shareholders get equity it wasn't one that they created by choice they just had to do it because the numbers on the balance sheet ended up a certain way and they are legally contractually obligated to do this I don't think Cineworld could be doing any more to create value for stakeholders in the current situation chapter 11 is probably the best way to sure that stakeholders get value in this current situation and so yeah this meeting doesn't really mean anything although I was quite excited when I first heard about it I am now thinking that actually it's just something that they are legally contractually obligated to do so the more interesting thing is the Cineworld lenders are looking for a new management team there's two ways of looking at this I think that the lenders are sincerely looking for a new management team I don't think that they are pretending to do this however the motivations for looking for a management team might not be as clear so there's two potential motivations one that they want a new management team but for reasons I've gone into in other videos that isn't probably the most preferable option for city world creditors um, certainly not for debtors not for the stakeholders but um, one of the reasons that they could be doing this is Cineplex and so Cineplex obviously in their lawsuit that is currently under appeal uh, got awarded 1 billion from Cineworld so Cineworld have to pay Cineplex 1 billion US dollars and of course that is kind of the primary catalyst that led to this chapter 11 filing it's this lawsuit that is really a big question mark over whether Cineworld can remain afloat. So without this lawsuit, I don't think Cineworld would be in Chapter 11. I think if anything, they probably have just gotten another loan to continue operating for the meantime while Cineworld while revenues got back to normal. But because they've got this potential one billion of debt, no one's going to be very willing to loan them money at this present time. And so what that means is that Cineplex have, by being awarded this money, created a situation in which they will either get uh, well, basically, you will get nothing. Um, so they've won a billion dollars and they will have no way of collecting it. It's a bit like in John Wick Chapter 4. Uh, someone comes to kill John Wick and says, uh, look, uh, the prize money is too big. Uh, the prize money is 15 million for killing you. And John Wick replies, not if you can't spend it. Um, figure probably butchered that quote. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um... And so, yeah, Sydney World lenders are looking for a new management team. What that message is probably, I mean, this is a leak. So this information got leaked out somehow. Um, do the Sydney World lenders want the world to know that they're looking for a new management team? Potentially not. And this leak doesn't seem to have come out from a third party. It seems to potentially come directly from Sydney World themselves because it's not like the last leak that we had came from someone uh, outside of the main group. So Cineworld potentially leaked this themselves and the motivation for doing that would be to tell Cineplex that they are going to liquidate the company because getting a new management team would mean to some degree liquidation of the business. Stakeholders would get nothing but certainly Cineplex would also get nothing. And so I also think it's interesting and perhaps that Cineplex are just doing really well at the minute but uh, Cineplex are also reporting record profits or showing, uh, putting out a lot of information, trying to let the world know that they are doing really well. And so I think what's happening at the minute is a little bit of a battle. There's a negotiation between Cineworld and Cineplex to get the settlement. Cineworld would want to get the settlement as little as possible instead of
sugar packs want to get as much of that one billion as possible. And so um, what is potentially happening is that Cineworld, in partnership with their lenders, are trying to put a message out there that they are ready to liquidate the company if they don't reach a settlement. And Cineplex are trying to sort of bluff or potentially show uh, we don't know if they're bluffing or not, but trying to show that they don't need the one billion, they can walk away from that, they're happy to let City World go to zero, uh, they want all the money, this sort of thing. So I think what's actually happening is just a negotiation between Cineplex and City World to try and get the settlement to the right figure. And that's just a theory that is uh, from following this stock for a long time. I'm obviously not doing as much research as everyone in the Discord at the minute, so maybe post, uh, post your questions in the Discord for the time being. Link uh, is typically in the bottom of these videos, but I haven't been able to copy and paste it <laughs> um, and update them just because I'm so rarely on the internet. So, right, that's just my thoughts on the recent articles that have come out recently. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'll read them, maybe I've missed something. Um, right. See you next Thursday. Thanks very much, guys. Goodbye.